Hi guys and welcome to Motorbeam. Today's comparison has us driving two of the most popular premium hatchbacks on sale in the Indian market today, the Tata Altros and the Maruti Baleno. Now which one out of these two fares better in our test? Let's find out but before we get started, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Motorbeam channel. Now talking about the sizes and the designs of both the cars, well both the cars over here have the exact same length while the Tata Altros is wider and taller than the Maruti Baleno. The Maruti Baleno has a longer wheelbase while the Tata Altros has a bigger boot out of these two cars. The Maruti Baleno has only single tone colour options, the Altros is also offered with a dark edition theme and dual tone colour options. Now talking about the designs of both the cars, well the new Baleno actually looks like an evolution of the previous Baleno that it replaces. The design won't offend none but it also won't excite and meanwhile, the Tata Altros looks a bit more premium and it has a hint of sportiness to it. The design of the Altros also looks a bit more aerodynamic, which is why out of these two, I personally prefer the design of the Altros. Which one do you like more? Let me know in the comment section below. We shall now talk about the safety features offered on both of these premium hatchbacks. Now, personally, I think it is very good that customers are evolving and they are giving more and more importance to safety features because uh, it doesn't make sense to compromise on safety, right? So, talking about the Tata Ultras, well, this one has a 5-star rating from Global NCAP. This has two airbags on every variant. You get ABS with EBD, brake, sway control, corner stability control and ISO fixed style seat mounts. And apart from the 5-star rating, this one also has a strong body shell which doesn't crumple and it remains intact even in the event of a crash. Meanwhile, if we talk about the Maruti Baleno, this one has two airbags on the lower variants and six airbags on the top variants. This one has ABS with EBD, Isofix style seat mounts. With the MD gearbox on the mid variants, you also get ESP and hill start assist, while on the top variants with manual also, you get the same features, but this one does not have a safety rating yet. Meanwhile, if we talk about the previous Baleno, that one scored a zero star rating in the 2021 Latin NCAP crash test. The good thing about both of these premium hatchbacks is that both of them are extremely spacious but of course when you sit in the Tata Altros you get the sense of premiumness in this cabin. The fit and finish is much better than that of the Maruti Baleno and overall the vibe inside the cabin is more premium and it feels more appealing. Now in terms of the seating position and the layout of the dashboard, the dashboard is quite ergonomically laid out. All the controls fall within easy reach of the hand and the seating position is quite nice and comfortable and the Altros also offers better outward visibility compared to the Baleno because the glass area on the Baleno is smaller. On the Altros, you get big windows and a bigger windscreen. Now, talking about the upholstery in the Altros, you get leatherette upholstery, which feels, again, premium. On the Baleno, you get basic fabric upholstery. Tata has also made use of really tasteful colors on the interior of the Tata Altros. So you get a satin finish on the middle part of the dashboard. And for the regular variants of the Altros, you get a black and gray color theme. And for the dark edition, you get this granite black theme, which personally is my favorite. On the Tata Altros, you also get height adjustable front seat belts, which are missing on the Maruti Baleno. Now, both the cars are quite loaded in terms of features. But of course, there are some features which are present on the Baleno and are missing on the Altros. While there are some features which are present on the Altros, but sadly, they are missing on the Maruti Baleno. On the Tata Altros, you get a digital instrument cluster, a manual inside rear view mirror, a start stop button, you get ambient mood lighting, you get a cooled glow box, you get an umbrella holder, a rear camera, automatic headlamps, rain sensing wipers, ITPMS, cruise control, electrically adjustable and folding mirrors, automatic climate control with express cool and rear AC vents. The Tata Altros also has multi drive modes and a variable key. Talking about the infotainment system on the Tata Altros, this one gets a 7-inch screen from Harman. You get 4 speakers and 4 tweeters, making it a total of 8. This one also gets IRA connectivity. You get English, Hindi and English voice commands and also what 3 words functionality. But what is most important is the sound quality from the speakers. So let me play some nice track and yeah, let's check out how is the sound quality. The sound quality is tight and bassy. The speakers are crystal clear. And overall, the listening experience in the Tata Altros is extremely good. And it actually feels a few segments above because a lot of cars don't have such a good 
quality audio system. I am now seated in the cabin of the Maruti Baleno and it feels like a familiar place because a lot of parts are shared with other Maruti cars, especially on the lower end and the higher end. So the cabin, the design of the cabin is ergonomic again just like the Altros even here. All the controls fall within easy reach of the hand but one thing that you notice is that the fit and finish is a notch higher on the Tata Altros. Here the quality of the materials is good, the fit and finish is good but somehow on the Altros the whole cabin feels a bit more tight and a bit more solidly built. Now the Maruti Baleno has this color theme of uh, dark blue and black with this insert silver insert in the middle part of the dashboard and this car does not have leather it opposed to you get basic fabric seats. The seats are good, they offer good comfort and support but the visibility is just about okay. It is again slightly better on the Tata Altros because the windscreen is smaller on the Baleno and the gap between the steering wheel and this panel and the gap between the touch screen and this mirror is a bit lesser in the Maruti Baleno. The OVMs however are decently sized. Now if I have to talk about the features in the Maruti Baleno, you get a head-up display, you get cruise control, auto dimming inside rear view mirror, electric mirrors, rear race events, a push start button, keyless entry, automatic climate control, front footwell lamps, a surround view camera system and a normal instrument cluster with a TFT display. The head-up display of the Maruti Baleno has become a talking point but personally I find it a bit subjective. I mean some people like this feature, some people don't prefer this feature, I personally also don't prefer this feature so I always keep the HOD shut because I find it a bit distracting while driving. Meanwhile, uh, if you talk about the instrument cluster offered on the Tata Ultras, that one has a digital layout and that one actually showcases a bit more information like it has this low tire pressure warning, it has turn by turn navigation and I prefer that because the HUD does become a bit distracting. Meanwhile, on the Baleno, you also get a 360 view camera. On the Ultras, you get a reverse parking camera only but for these two features, Maruti is charging approximately rupees 50,000 extra. So, I am not sure if the value for money quotient is present or not just for these features. So how is the infotainment system on the Maruti Baleno? Well, this car gets a 9-inch screen compared to the 7-inch screen of the Tata Altros. And on the Altros, you get 4 speakers and 4 tweeters. On this one, you get 4 speakers and 2 tweeters from Arkamis. And I will play the exact same track that I played in the Altros to compare the sound quality. The sound quality is decent in the Maruti Baleno, but it was definitely better in the Tata Ultras. Now let's jump into the rear seat. I am now seated in the rear seat of the Tata Ultras and again, it is a very positive experience over here. Just look at the amount of knee room on offer. Headroom is also more than enough and I think three people can sit here comfortably. The floor is almost flat and the big plus is that the Tata Ultras gets 90 degree opening doors because this car is based on the Alpha platform and ingress and ingress are very easy on this car again the upholstery feels quite good over here you get this wide armrest at the rear two adjustable headrests a 60 40 split function is not present on this car you get rear ac vents on the tata ultras a 12 volt charging socket is present over here and overall the feel inside the rear seat of the ultras is quite good so i think if you are chauffeur driven you will have a great experience over here you get two seat back pockets to keep small stuff and i guess that's about it now let's get into the rear seat of the baleno Sitting in the rear seat of the Maruti Baleno now and knee room is actually quite good on this car but it was slightly better on the Tata Ultras. You get a seat back pocket only on the left hand side. Nothing is offered on the right hand side. Headroom is more or less similar to the Tata Ultras but the floor hump over here is taller than the Ultras so things for the middle passenger might be slightly difficult. Thankfully you get rear AC vents, two charging ports but sadly at this price point this car does not have a rear center armrest which is a bit surprising. You get two adjustable headrests and this seat has a 60-40 split function. Overall the sitting experience in the rear seat is decent but it was again better on the Altros thanks to the better upholstery and the better quality of the materials on the door pads also. I am now at the wheel of the Tata Altros and this is offered with three engine options. You get Revotron, Revotorque and iTurbo and this one also gets a DCA which is a proper automatic compared to the AMT on the Maruti Baleno. Now the three engine options cater to a wide variety of audiences so there is something for every kind of audience. If you want something which is easy going then you can choose the Revotron engine which is offered either with a 5 speed manual or with this DCA which I am driving right now and if you want some added punch you get the option of buying the iTurbo engine which again boosts the performance of the Tata Altros 
and that is also offered with the manual gearbox. Meanwhile, for customers who have a high daily running and people who want a mix of performance and efficiency, you also get a diesel engine option with the Altros. Again, this is something which is not offered on the Maruti Baleno. The diesel engine is also a very peppy engine. It has nice performance, especially the boost which comes in the mid-range and fuel efficiency is on another level. Apart from this, the Tata Altros also gets multi-drive mode. So if you get the i-turbo variant, you get city and sport driving modes. If you get the Revotron, the Revotorque, you get city and eco driving modes. Meanwhile, if we talk about the automatic gearbox of the Altros, which is offered with the Revotron engine, this DCA, which means dual clutch automatic, it is actually a very smooth gearbox. It has a wet clutch. It has self-healing properties. It has this machine learning mechanism. It has this auto gear lock and it also has a shift by wire technology feature. So yes, all in all, it is a smooth gearbox and overall, the engines of the Altros, the three different engines offer something for every different kind of customer. The best part about the Tata Altros is the way the driving dynamics are tuned. The suspension is awesome if I have to use that word and the ride quality is too plush. So the car feels extremely comfortable over bad kinds of roads and of course on smooth roads it feels very nice and stable. The high speed ride quality is extremely good and the Altros actually feels like a big car when you drive it. So it is a sub 4 meter premium hatchback but it actually feels a segment above because the way it drives the way it sticks to the road when you push it hard well that is something really commendable apart from the ride quality even the steering offers better feel and feedback than the Maruti Baleno the steering is responsive it has some added weight to it and it actually communicates very nicely with the driver so overall the high speed ride quality the high speed stability all of these things are extremely good on the Tata Altros and it actually feels like a more involving car to drive Driving the Maruti Baleno now and this one is offered only with a single engine which is a 1.2 litre petrol engine which is offered with a 5 speed manual or a 5 speed AMT. Now the engine is smooth, it is peppy and it offers decent performance. The AMT is also smooth enough, it is better than the older AMTs that we have seen from many other automakers and it does its job well but again the DCA on the Tata Altros is a bit more smoother and it is actually a proper automatic. Now the older Baleno used to get a proper automatic which was a CVT but with the new generation model they have removed the CVT and plonged in this AMT which is again shared with many other Maruti cars. The Baleno is decent to drive, it is easy to drive actually and the suspension is also better than the older Baleno. It is pliant, it is comfortable but somehow it lacks the plushness which is offered by the Tata Altros' suspension because the ride quality on the Altros feels a bit more settled and a bit more mature. Again, the handling on the Baleno is also decent but again the Tata Altros has slightly better handling and slightly better body control. The steering on the Maruti Baleno also does not offer a lot of feel and feedback and sometimes it does not self-center also. Braking performance is thankfully very good in both the cars. So which one should you finally buy, the Tata Altros or the Maruti Baleno? Now we'll talk about the prices first. The Baleno is priced from Rs. 6.5 to Rs. 9.71 lakh ex showroom Mumbai. Meanwhile, the Tata Altros costs Rs. 6.3 to Rs. 10.25 lakh ex showroom Mumbai. Now the Baleno is a decent package. It has a peppy engine, but it lacks the ride and handling balance of the Tata Altros and it does not have a turbo petrol option or even a diesel engine. The standard warranty on the Baleno is 2 years or 40,000 kilometers. Meanwhile, the Tata Altros looks better it is more comfortable, it has a better balance of ride and handling, it has better safety and it has multiple engine options. It also has a proper automatic, the DCA, which is smoother than the AMT on the Maruti Baleno and the standard warranty on this car is 2 years or 75,000 kilometers, adding to the peace of mind. Which is why as a complete package out of these two, the Tata Altros would be our recommended choice. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comment section below which one would you pick out of these two and why.